Welcome back to On the Bench, Doug Whitehorn, Amy Johnson. And Amy, the Syracuse Orange football team last year threw for just 15 touchdowns, and Van Chu didn't catch a single one of them. But the junior entered spring 15 pounds heavier, adding power to his speed and skill, and Coach Marone says Chu is already exceeding his expectations. Well, Ryan Coletti has been at practice all spring long and gives us a first-hand look at the new Chu. I mean, all of them, you know, look good. It's just a matter of who's going to step up and, and be consistent enough to be a starter. You wouldn't think that someone ranked 11th on the team in receiving last year would be the first option among the other wideouts this year. But then again, you haven't met the new Van Chu. When I went back home, I knew I had to, like, gain about, like, 10, 15 pounds. So all I did was just stick in the weight room and lift it and ran and ch tried to eat as much as I could. With a steady diet of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a commitment to a rigorous off-season workout schedule, Chu was able to add that 15 pounds and earn the early praise of head coach Doug Marone. Van Chu's playing much better than anticipated, as, and I don't mean that as, as far as that we didn't anticipate him to play well, but he's playing a lot better than I thought he would be at this point. The added muscle in the offseason has added a new dimension to Chu's game. I think with the, um, the weight that I gained, it also gave me like more like momentum when I get off the ball, so I have like better acceleration and I won't get like bumped off my route and stuff. So. And now he's becoming you know, a physical player against press coverage. He's able to go out there, and then now, now his speed is, is a legitimate threat because he can get off the ball. If you have great speed and you can't get off the ball, it's, it's very difficult to be productive in any offense. So um, he's really come on strong, and he's played a lot stronger. Chu emerges now as the Orange's top deep threat for next season. A wide receiving core that was a mixture of inconsistency last year now has a new face. But as starting quarterback Ryan Nassib will tell you, it will take more than one to get the job done for this SU offense. I've been, I've been around with uh, you know Chu and Marcus for the last couple of years, and Al came along last year, uh, did real well, and I've uh, been around with Weave for uh, a good amount of the winter and uh, into spring, and you know we're just building chemistry as uh, you know as practice goes on. We're learning more and more about each other, what um, you know what, what their specific strengths are, and we try to um, use them to the best of our ability. <laughs> One of the things Doug Marone is stressing this spring is versatility. He wants players that are not just limited to one strength out there, but who possess skills all over the football field. And Doug Van Chu certainly showing his commitment to improve his all-around game this spring. One of those other players that Coach Marone is really hoping to step up in the wide receiver core is sophomore Alec Lemon, Ryan. Yeah, Damone Murkison said earlier this week that while Van Chu may be the fastest wide receiver on the team, Alec Lemon is the quickest. He burst on the scene last year as just a freshman, finished third on the team in receiving, and they're going to expect a lot more out of him this season and his sophomore season, and it's shown this spring as he's getting a lot of reps with the first team. All right, only one touchdown for Lemon last year, but the Orange expecting a lot more. Ryan, thanks a lot. Joining two is senior transfer Aaron Weaver, who joined the Orange after Hofstra got rid of its football program. Weaver led the Pride with 63 receptions and four touchdowns last year. He also led the team in punt and kick return yardage. Also be on the lookout for junior Marcus Sales. Last season, he snagged 28 receptions and three touchdowns, second on the team behind Mike Williams. Tune in again next week as Ryan Coletti takes a closer look at DeLon Carter, Antoine Bailey, and the rest of the running backs. It's all part of our spring football preview, getting you ready for fall 2010. But we're